Welcome to the YouTube channel of the FPLRS program, which is based here at the University of Pretoria in South Africa. We uh, have created this YouTube channel and we truly hope that this channel will provide you with resources that are informative and supportive of your industry or your particular need, whether that be education, whether that be training, whether it is a farming enterprise, or whether you are a consultant serving our valuable farmers in our industry. Our group or our team is made up of uh, various colleagues of mine that are in associated sciences like soil science, uh, agricultural economics, animal nutrition, uh, animal physiology, reproduction science. We have various specialists at GIS level that are helping us for uh, doing technological uh, advancements uh, or assessment methodologies of pastures and forages and, uh, and and some of our other specialists that I have not necessarily mentioned uh, by their particular discipline. But nevertheless, we have a great complement of postgraduate students as well. Those students are doing their masters or their doctoral degrees. They're all conducting research projects in these different uh, sciences of forage, pasture, and land reclamation sciences. And we look forward to the research findings that they deliver uh, from these programs. And very often, there's some phenomenal research findings which we would like to then share with you and show that the development of this science is occurring. We would like to inspire other students that might become interested in these sciences because this uh, is not a very common and a familiar science to many people. In fact, in South Africa, uh, pasture science and forage science included are regarded as a scarce skill. And I wouldn't be surprised if I speak to some of my colleagues internationally, it is the same situation there as well. So we hope that with this channel, we can share information. Um, also very important principles that we'd like to share there, existing principles of many, many years of research that have been conducted by my peers as well as other colleagues um, in the country and the rest of the world. So what we would like to do is we'd like to deal with forage sciences, pasture sciences and land reclamation sciences. The question that always comes up is why did we combine these sciences in our group? And firstly, if I can take land reclamation sciences, we have a lot of degraded land in South Africa as well as in Africa. And what we find is that these degraded lands exist because of overgrazing or even mining impacts. And there's many, many forms of degradation that occur. But when it comes to reclaiming these lands and reinstating productive value, it's really important that we identify the right species that can be used in a revegetation program that can provide some kind of value. So our objective at the end of the day is understanding forage species and pasture species in the context of reclaiming these degraded environments. These degraded environments might have very poor soil conditions and we need to understand those. They might be polluted or contaminated and that will indirectly affect the quality of the vegetation that is established there. And a lot of these pasture and forage species have a very high resilience and are very um, strong plants that can resist some of these harsh conditions and grow in these harsh conditions. And that is why it's always so exciting to identify these species so that they can be planted in these degraded environments, improve these degraded environments, so that at the end of the day, we can use these environments to reinstate production or agricultural production as such. But nevertheless, so understanding forage species, understanding pasture species is of importance to our group. When we look at forage science, this is for the more intensive commercial animal production or livestock production systems we really go into the detailed properties of different species and look at the anti-quality factors that could affect the animal health and also the animal's production, but also understanding what is the reason or the cause of these anti-quality factors and understanding the science and the mechanisms behind how plants respond to their interaction with these different animals. When we look at some of the pasture science um, principles, we look at including things like grazing systems, we look at preservation technologies, we look at the large landscape a level of the inclusion of our natural rangeland, um, also known as natural felt, and then trying to find 
uh, supplemental pastures or forages that we can use together with these natural resources so that we can ensure a sustainable and economically viable fodder flow program for our animal production systems, whether it is at a commercial intensive large scale, or even if it's for our small scale emerging farmers um, in our country. So we thank you for your participation and also your time to uh, uh, look and to listen to some of the videos and the information that we post. And we look forward to, to the collaboration that we will experience from your comments that you can post for us or even send us an email. Uh, would we be valuing that as well? And uh, we look forward to, to these comments. And even if you have any research questions that we can potentially research if there are opportunities to be find funds to do so. So thank you very much. And we look forward to our interaction in future. And uh, please subscribe to our channel for regular updates of new postings. And uh, we thank you and take care.